I wrote out a thing about a genie on three or four bits of paper. And it was a genie that listened to Public Enemy and was quite militant. Once set free from the bottle, became quite an advocate for black power and independence and, <laughs> and things like that. And there were some jokes in it, but it was mainly a kind of rant uh, about basically about genie, genies being a slavery trope or some bollocks that I'd come up with. I was hanging out with Richard a lot at the time and I pitched it to him and he said, yeah, that's quite good. Let me have a look at it. And so he took it away, took the pages away. One day, a couple months later, I thought, I'd sort of forgotten about it really. Life was moving on and Richard's very busy. Richard said, do you want to read something? And I said, sure. What is it? He said, oh, it's that genie thing you've, you, you were talking about. I've had a look at it and I've had a go at it. Might be all right. Have a look. Well, I follow him to his osteopath. He's got a Chinese osteopath in Notting Hill and he's having his back cracked for some reason. So I start reading this thing in the waiting room while he's having his back cracked. You can hear Richard going, ah, faffing H, shut the front door, ow. You can hear that. And you can also hear me laughing. I'm literally laughing my conkers off every 15, 20, 30 seconds. Cause this was really funny. It obviously had some kind of stream of consciousness and he'd written about 50 pages and it was really funny. I promise you, genuinely funny. And I laughed a lot while he was having his back cracked and screaming blue murder. Anyway, when he came out limping away, I said, this is really good, can we do this? And Richard's the kind of person, if Richard says he's gonna do something, kind of happens. We shot for about three or four weeks. It was not a problem. Nothing about it was a chore. I just loved it. I loved doing it. And it's ruder than I remember. I gave it to a friend of mine to watch with her kids. And she said, oh, we, uh, we had to not watch it after a while because it was quite rude. <laughs> but I loved doing it. It was a joy.